Okay, welcome back to the next part of the video. In the last video, got everything finalized for getting set up for the trip to uh, Mercury. And I attempted to use the HCLV's autopilot to get me into orbit, but I just decided that wasn't a great idea, so I aborted it. Now I'm starting back over, and it's time to fly. We just got our heading of about 90 degrees. Press plus and hold it. Control to lock the engines. And we have a terrible heading to start with here. So I'm going to go to 90. I'm going to roll the vessel like crazy. go we've got our heading rolled where we need to be rolled and let's begin pitching over actually I probably should be yeah I'm pitched the right way keeping an eye on the relative inclination here change over to EJ orientation so I can kind of track it as I climb. Continue pitching down. Uh, the autopilot would have been fine, I just couldn't seem to control the yaw very well. And in order to keep, in order to make sure that I arrive in orbit with a low relative inclination, I want to be able to control the yaw on the right up. So we need to yaw a bit back. That's too much. And I'm going to bring up orbit MFD on this side. Projection ship, distance PEA, APA. bit of yaw correction on the uh, relative to correct for the L correct for the relative inclination there's the boosters separating that is a really cool animation this is a really great launcher it's so much nicer for this purpose instead of trying to mount the uh, XR2 on top of the Falcon Heavy which kind of feels like a duct tape feels like a duct tape job This vessel's kind of odd, though, in, in the way it, it seems like it's floating or sliding slightly. It's... hmm, I wonder why that is. A little bit of yaw correction for the relative inclination. Feels like it's pulling to the uh, left. Okay, got the apoapsis up where I want it to be, so I don't want it to get any, any too much higher. So I'm gonna have to pitch down below the horizon, which I don't like doing. But I'm so focused on the. Uh, relative inclination that I'm not doing a good job of controlling pitch here. But at any rate, we're almost at the end of the ride. And we'll kill it there. I'm going to have to readjust the uh, PE to 300 kilometers because that's 
because I'm just really far up above what I set out to get. All right, first order of business. Let me tr change the... Uh, get things set here. And let's go prograde. Go ahead and keep this part with me for a while, because I do have some propellant left. I can at least use it for the orbit circularization. But I'm pretty confident that I have all the fuel that I need for going all the way to Mercury and landing. But we'll take advantage of whatever fuel we have left over here. Okay, now do I have any control translation. with translation here? No, I wouldn't think I would. Let's see if I can get away with it in the XR2. Well, that would actually wouldn't make any sense. Okay, so Apoapsis is coming up here in just uh, 900 seconds. And we won't reach the eject point till we're somewhere over here, so we'll go ahead and take care of this orbit circularization. And while I'm doing maintenance, let's adjust this to 6671. Actually, let's make it 6681. be closer to our real number here. We could even be more picky than that. 6683 would be more accurate. There, that should be good enough. Okay, going to circularize the orbit. Go ahead and do it manually. Okay, that's right on the money. Now, even though I've got some propellant left, and I would imagine this is quite a bit, actually I can probably find out in burn time calculator. Yeah, two, two kilometers, that's quite a bit. I wonder if I should go ahead and use it. Yeah, let's go ahead and use it. So this is gonna be a little bit of a strange ejection burn. I'm going to do the first 2,000 meters a second with this fuel that's left over in this tank. And then we're gonna switch over to the XR2 for the uh, rest of it. So it's gonna break our burn up a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit weird. Okay, coming up to the eject point. But let's check relative inclination. No, what am I, yeah, wrong thing. go ahead and fix that so uh, since the since this doesn't have RCS obviously I'm just gonna have to like go prograde or normal plus rather And if it's not normal plus, then I'll have to go normal minus. So a quick test burn here. That's making it worse, so I need to spin around the other direction.
Okay. I'll do a little bit of a burn to bring down the relative inclination. And that should be basically zero or close to it. Yeah. All right, now back to prograde. Do we have time to set up a maneuver? Actually, I kind of forgot about it. I was going to do that. We have a thousand seconds. Uh, we have, yeah, about a thousand seconds. So, maneuver mode on. And we want six thousand or six point six seven six K DV. Six point six seven six. Okay, now we adjust the date. And right there looks good. Now I can come through the variables on this side and reset everything. Okay, now we'll go forward over here to the Mercury encounter and backwards on this side, view setup, change the graph projection to focus, view maneuver. and play around with the variables until we can bring Mercury down. We'll overshoot that way a little bit. And we'll overshoot. Well, it looks like we're already there. Yeah, we're basically there, but we'll overshoot a little bit that set on that side. And then come back to prograde. And yeah, that has us all the way down. So that's going to be the maneuver. I must have changed my MFD update to something slower because it's updating really slow at the moment. Okay, so let's go back to view target, or let's go to view target rather, and warp time four to the time to begin the burn. We're going to do 2,000 meters per second with, I wonder if I really want to do it this way because switching in between, switching partway through the burn, it might just... Yeah, I think it'll be okay, and I'd like to preserve, you know, preserve as much fuel in the XR2 as I can. I'm almost certain I've got more than enough. Okay, we're a couple hundred seconds away from the burn. Let me go back to view, maneuver real quick, and just do a quick update. 
everything still looks good. Okay, back to view target. Let's go forward a little farther. Okay, we're almost time to do the burn. Turn prograde off. Rotate accordingly. See, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to burn and then inherit the plan into the XR2. I don't know, it just, it just seems like it almost won't work, but I guess we'll see. Okay, 25 seconds away from the time to do the burn. Burning in three, two, one, and burning. Okay, let's get prepared to switch vessels. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, well... Forgot to open the radiator. Easy to forget to do that when you... Okay. And when I switched vessels, it killed the engines. Or I guess it didn't kill the engines, I guess I just went through all the fuel already. Okay, let me, let me start this over, obviously. But what I'll do is I will, I'll, I'll complete the ride to orbit off camera since we've already since I've already recorded that part and then once I get into orbit I'll have to remember to open the radiator in the XR2. I didn't think I was in orbit long enough for it to overheat, but oh well, these things happen, so that's gonna be the end of this part of the video. And I'll see you in the next part.